Hello there. My name is Sarah Polk. I'm sorry, I'm not very happy at the moment. My husband died last week. He had just finished his term as president, and he was so exhausted. I wish he hadn't worked so hard. I was first lady only three months ago. Well, let us not talk about my husband now. I will talk to you about my life instead. I was born Sarah Childress on September 4th, 1803, in Murfreesboro, Tennessee. I was the third of six children. I always dressed in bold blues, maroons, and reds to match my tanned-looking skin color, and I was nicknamed Sahara Sarah. I was well-educated, but I didn't enjoy music or needlepoint like most girls. I loved politics, and I was quite well known for my opinions, even though sometimes I was criticized for them. When my father died in 1819, my fa family had financial issues, mostly because of one of my brothers who had a terrible way of managing money. However, I soon met a man named James Polk. He was an ambitious and quiet man. We got married on New Year's Day, 1824, in my hometown. Before James became president, I noticed he was losing quite a bit of weight and he was often exhausted. I thought it was because he had surgery when he was young. When he was running for president, since he was so weak, I took over the campaign plans from our home in Columbia. Thankfully, he won and we moved into the executive mansion in 1845. During my four years as hostess, I did not allow any dancing, card playing, or alcohol in the president's house at all. It was against my religion. However, twice a week, I arranged a time for citizens to come and visit the house, and we even hosted the first Thanksgiving dinner at the executive mansion. Since James and I did not have children, I found time to become his private secretary. Since I've always loved politics, I often found myself in the company of men. In fact, I only had a few lady friends in the White House, and all the rest were men. I think that women just talk about nonsense and gossip all the time. To me, political discussions are much more interesting. Sadly, politics will not be the same without James. I miss him so much already. June 15, 1849 was our last day together, and I shall never forget his last words to me. He said, I love you, Sarah, for all eternity. I love you. Well, that is my story so far. It is nice to clear my mind a little sometime. I must go now, but it was lovely talking to you. Thank you for visiting.